Hey guys! So, I posted a fall haul a couple weeks ago and obviously since then I've bought a lot more stuff so this is going to be like a part two to that haul I guess. Um, I'm sorry if it's really long, I just, I like went crazy <laughs> and bought so much stuff. So I have clothes, makeup, um, some jewelry, so yeah, there's a lot. <laughs> um, so first I guess I will start with clothes. So this first jacket is a brown leather jacket by Bongo and the inside is all leopard. Love it! Um, it's really not that heavy on like the end of the sleeves and on the bottom it has like elastic and I don't have um, a leather jacket this color. I have a brown leather jacket but it's a lot heavier and it has like fur so I wanted a lighter one and my mom actually got this for me because she knew I was looking for one like this. So that's that. Super cute. It has like a little motorcycle detail, kinda-ish, on his uh, shoulders. But yeah, that is that. It is super cute. And this is from Sears, I believe. She got this in, but it's by Bongo. Next, I have another leather jacket from Forever 21. And it is just a plain black leather jacket with like silver zippers and details. And this is the back. Yeah, it has zippers like on top and the bottom. And I needed a new black leather jacket like this. Um, this is pretty much identical to another black leather jacket that I have from Forever 21. But on my other one... I've worn it so much, like, on, like, here and everything, on the collar, it, like, all, like, the leather is, like, peeling off, so it looks horrible, so I needed a new one, and I just think it's so cute, so that's that. Next is... I'll just do this. This is just a plain black v-neck tee from American Eagle. This is actually um, a men's shirt, so I got it in a size small. That's nothing special. Next is um, a little sweater from Kohl's. And it's so cute. Disney. <laughs> Obviously. It's pink and it just has Ariel in like this silver like holographic kind of thing going on and the front is a little short and the back is longer as you can kind of see from that but yeah that's just that the back is plain just super cute this is also from Forever 21 right here I got just leopard leggings and all of my leggings are black or gray, so I wanted to go a little more daring and do leopard, but I thought this would be super cute to wear with like a long black thermal or whatever that can cover your butt and some combat boots with like a leather jacket or something. It's cute, right? So now I'll go on to makeup, and I got some stuff from Sephora and Ulta. Um, I definitely went a little crazy in Ulta. But that's okay. So the only thing that I got from Ulta was, I mean, Sephora, was the Urban Decay Vice 3 palette. I did not even know they had a Vice 3 palette. I was watching, I think, one of Candy Johnson's videos, and she was using one from here, and I was like, what? <laughs> so I literally, like, ran to Sephora and picked this up. Um, I didn't know if I should get it, but then I was like, you know, it's limited edition. Why not? So, that's how I, I reasoned it. It comes in this little, like, pouch, and the Vice 2 palette did not, so I was, like, so confused. But this is really cute. You can use this for, like, your makeup when you're, like, traveling or something. And then, oh, 
How pretty is it? And then these are like all of the colors. Just like a super quick scan. Figured, why not get it? It's limited edition. Let's go crazy. So, next. Ulta. The first thing is this um, I Hope by Philosophy, and I've actually been using this the past couple days. Um, it just comes in like a little bottle like that. And this is supposed to help like diminish um, dark circles, puffiness, and lines. Um, I don't have any lines, but I think I do have some pretty bad dark circles and puffiness, so I've been looking for something to help, like, get rid of them, and I saw this on Sephora's, yeah, Sephora's website, and there was a lot of good reviews about it, so I've been using this, and, um, I don't think I've seen anything, like, any difference yet, but... It's only been a couple days, and most people said that it takes a couple weeks, so that's all good. I got the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I've wanted this for a long time and just never got it, so I just got it. Next is this NYX um, HD Concealer, and I got it in the shade 6, and I'm actually wearing it today, and um, so far, I mean... I think it, it worked pretty good. Um, the only like liquid concealer I have is my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, and I don't really like to use that on days where I'm not really doing anything because it's just so damn expensive. <laughs> I feel like I don't want to um, use all of it and waste all of it if I'm not like really going out. So, yeah. Um, I also got a NYX matte lipstick. This is in the shade Merlot, and I think this is a super pretty fall color. That's that. I'll do a swatch. Ooh. It's like a really nice wine kind of color. Well, no, I think it's a little too light for wine, but whatever. That's that. I do not have anything from Lorac, but I saw on Instagram that they have like a Royals collection or something. So I saw the collection in Ulta and I like fell in love with everything in that collection. But I got this um, little eyeshadow collection. And there's four palettes in here, and there's four eyeshadows in each palette, so you're getting 16 eyeshadows for 38 bucks, which I think is pretty good. Um, let's see. Okay, so you have Queen, Countess, Princess, and Duchess. And the colors are just so pretty. These are them for the Queen collection. And then you have Countess. And I don't have any like eyeshadows that are any of these colors, pretty much. Princess. And then you have Duchess, and I really like this palette because I really don't have any eyeshadows like these. These are like grays and like a navy blue. And then also for my last Halloween tutorial, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to be using this Princess palette. So, I don't know if you can tell by the colors what tutorial I'll be doing, but... Yeah, hopefully that will be coming soon, obviously before Halloween, because then there's no point in doing it. Well, I guess you could wear it. Yeah, you you don't need Halloween to wear it. 
but that is everything I got from Ulta. Alrighty, so next I'm just going to mention these little things I got from Forever 21 also. This is just a cute little Barbie um, compact mirror and a little cat lip balm. How cute is it? And it's a watermelon scent or flavor, whatever. And they have so many Barbie stuff. I found out that they had a Barbie collection from, uh, I like totally had a brain fart. Jennifer Brooks, <laughs> uh, brunette Barbie, she actually mentioned it on her vlog channel. Um, I'll put both of her channels below. I love her so much. She's amazing. She showed in one of her videos like all the Barbie stuff she got. So I figured I would just get this little compact mirror and it has like all different like things on it. It says like plastic, man-made, living doll, I woke up like this, perfection. So cute. Okay, so now <sighs> jewelry. Um, these are for from did I say that right? No. <laughs> These are from Forever 21. They're little post earrings. Um, everything from Forever 21 I actually ordered online. So when I saw these online, I thought they were going to be smaller than they actually are, but I still like them. They're super cute. Um, it's like three big diamonds and then just surrounded by little ones. And then the back plate is black. So those are super cute. These next pieces of jewelry are from Glam with Jess and I don't even remember how I found out about this. Um, definitely somewhere on Instagram but her jewelry is just so beautiful. I wanted to buy like absolutely everything but um, I got a pair of earrings and a necklace and these pieces, all of her pieces are just really like bold and daring. So these are definitely like the most bold pieces of jewelry I own now. Um, these first earrings, ooh, how pretty are they? And they just sparkle so much. <laughs> Um, these are just plain, like, silver, diamonds, drop-down earrings. Um, they are called Rose DeWitt from Rose Titanic. Um, they also have another pair where this big diamond in the middle is blue, and it's called Heart of the Ocean. But I just went with the plain diamonds because... I don't have any plain, like, silver diamond, um, like, chandelier earrings. So I got these. They are super, super cute. And then the necklace that I got is from the Boho Style collection. Ta-da! It is so cute. I think it would just be so cute to wear with, like, a plain like high neck uh, top and this is definitely the biggest and boldest necklace that I own but I just I think it's so cute and once again I didn't have any plain silver like necklaces like this so I was like what the hell <laughs> but this isn't really like a silver uh, I guess it is it's like a worn down silver. I don't know. <laughs> um, and then it just, it came with these two little earrings, I guess, if you want to match. But, yeah, I think that is it. If I can find the links to all the stuff, I will put it down in the description box. Um, and obviously if I couldn't find it, it won't be down there, but yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and please subscribe.